Everybody, Heidi Watney here. Welcome to the show. Wow. wow, wow. Check. One, I ain't talking steak sauce. Run this now and I'm a great boss. Run this, it ain't for the weight loss. Matter of fact, trying to be the cake boss. Fill up the bag. To the brim right there. Steam in the shine, make it dim right there. Gospel truth, get a sin right there. That boy stay by the rim right there. Step my dough just like a speed low. Tell the Uber, pick me up on Pico. Yeah, got two in the back like some mosquitoes. And I never play myself. You get info on the placebo. These C-Nos getting them looser than that's how it is. And Primo is the feeling when this trio get down to biz. I heard you need a hit. Got the gloves. You been Ali with the slip. Shower me with love. Already bathing in drip. <laughs> This ain't a skip, blue chip on the mission, finna dip, pole position, low. Been a long time coming, haters gonna be part time loving. They done spent a long time running, it don't matter, they ain't catching up at all, I promise. This has been a long time coming, haters gonna be part time loving. Putting up some all time numbers, hang the banner, they ain't catching up at all, I promise. I ain't never fallin' for no pump fake, yeah, yeah. Everybody know y'all like the funk fake, yeah, yeah. They want sticking with me like some duct tape. Coming easy to me, do that in one take, yeah, yeah. Got a mask in, where your mask is. This is really me, the cat been out the bag. And long as the world spending on the taxes, I ain't standing idle, gotta keep it active. Clip clock, horses in the drop. Pop, your Photoshop. Real hip hop, like I rock a big clock at the tip, tip, top. With my photo op, hey. When I come inside, I do them a favor. Don't get the wrong impression, I'ma need my retainer. Stacking up the paper until ET my neighbor. Just reaping all the fruits of my labor. I got acres. And this been a long time coming. Haters gonna be part time loving. They done spent a long time running. It don't matter, they ain't catching up at all. I promise. This been a long time coming. Haters gonna be part time. Santa Ana winds are kicking, leaving us nothing but clear skies over Dodger Stadium in L.A. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. Next. So now into the box is Brandon Nimmo, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The center fielder, number nine. First Brandon. pitch of the AB on its way. First pitch, one o'clock. The wind up and the 0 1. Things have work on Major League Mounds and logged in with an ERA in the low threes. 
good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. One out, base is empty, and into bat next will be J.D. Davis. A ball and no strikes. Our temperature 74 degrees as we get things started this afternoon. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind. Now here's the pitch. A uh, great curveball there. Really one fooled strike. him with that one. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. So a runner at first with one out now. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. One ball, no strikes to count. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. From the belt, the pitch. And this is swung on and foul tipped straight back off the catcher's mask. And that cannot be a pleasant feeling. And he fouls this one off. So a full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And it's fouled away. The next 3-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So here's Pete Alonzo. Past battles with Scherzer. He's three for 15. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. One ball, no strikes to count. Pitch popped up. Turner over to his left. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, here is Mookie Betts. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The right fielder, Mookie. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball here. Ball there, and it's strike two. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Foul off. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead, get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Uh, ball and two strikes now. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again? Or... A dive and he knocks it down. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. Here now is Trey Turner in previous duels with DeGrom. He's collected 11 hits and 41 ABs. He's taken him deep once. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. The first baseman. And that will bring up the versatile Max Muncy. The slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. The 0 1 pitch.
Runners are at first and third, one away. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but on hit right now. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And they've got the runner hung up between first and second. And they will apply the tag between first and second. It's a double play, and just like that, the side is retired. And now, Michael Conforto, as it'll be 5, 6, and 7 due up to kick off the second inning. Conforto. Swing and a little tapper. The wind up and the 0 1. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Here's Javier Baez. Past battles with Scherzer. Just a 1 for 12 career line. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. 1 and 0 oh the count. And now pitch on the way. Sent on the ground out to second. On to first and Scherzer's on a roll now. Two away. Bases are empty here with two away. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Popped up. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be the power hitting catcher, Will Smith. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He takes the turn and heads for second. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Into the box, Justin Turner. As he'll take a look at ball one. In previous duels with the Grom, he's got two hits in 22 tries. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And not in time as the run scores. At the plate, A.J. Pollock. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's set. Here's the 0-1. I got one ball, one strike. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. One ball and two strikes to count. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. And a bad time for that as the runner takes second here. The man at second with one down. And here comes Cody Bellinger. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Lighter in there for the base hit. He'll come home with it. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2-0 game. And the plate now, Max Scherzer. He'll run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. Fouled away. Bellinger, the runner at second with one away. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0-1, here it comes. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Two and two the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Runner breaks for third. Wave dad and missed for the third out. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And that's pitcher behind at the plate with a ball and two strikes. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Right, two balls and two strikes now. 
really high curveball right there struggling with the release point that's the key to the curveball figuring out and finding that release point Pollock has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one stepping up is James McCann here's the first pitch very weakly on the ground and he fouls this one off Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game and it's fouled away. Star Grotterall is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Another 0-2 come. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes, so it's two up, two down to begin the third. Two down, no one on base, and ready to bat next, the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. And he lays off there, 1-0. Two balls and no Two strikes balls. to the no Mets center fielder. Down low oh, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. J.D. Davis would be next. Swinging away and maybe a bit too anxious there. Still ahead in the count. Three and one. And this no, one misses it. inside ball a ball he walked in and they've got themselves a two out base runner. Now here's the first offering. J.D. Davis is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. No doubt this is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. Fouled off. Throw over to the bag, and he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Corey Seager. Not shortstop. Corey. Breaking ball. It's cut on and missed for the first strike. Woo, not a spot you'd expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. This will kick up against the wall now. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now Speedy Craig Turner digs in now. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Here's a fly ball well hit. Giving chase is Nimmo. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll get into third here on the fly out, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Now Next to hit, Will Smith. He doubled his last time up. Lying toward the gap in left center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. And he is in there with an RBI triple. So now to the plate, Justin Turner. And it's grounded just foul down the line. A base hit in his first trip. A one count. Here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. Smith on third with two out. Grounded down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Into the box now, J.D. Davis. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. 
This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble. 3-1. and one. Francisco Lindor will be next. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. He's set. Here it comes. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Back goes Betts to the track, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. This is just one of those parks where the ball seems to jump off the bat a lot more during the day. This is the first one of the day, but we might see a few more before this one's over. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He popped out in his first trip. A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. Base is empty here with nobody out. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Line to the right side. But this will land in foul territory. Still one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And two and two. Here's a pop up now. Muncie has room in foul territory, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. No one on with one down, and up next, the left handed hitting Michael Conforto. And so take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Well, that's just a nice executed pitch right there. To have the confidence to go in, pound it inside. If he's got that, this team's in trouble. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. Just hung in there on that one. Now a slider can't make it back to that outside edge, and that takes the count to two and two now. Winging a ball hit on the ground. Count remains two and two. Make and again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. 2 2 one more time. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. And that brings up Javi Baez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And it's a called strike to even the count at 1. Two out, nobody on. Pitch is popped up. Grunner off. will put this one away and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And up next, the center fielder, A.J. Pollock. The left fielder. A.J. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Bill Bellinger at the plate now. And he puts it on the ground to second. There's Baez. There's one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So now the pitcher, Bustar Graterol. This is a textbook sacrifice situation, so let's see if that's the call. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to 
Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Soft liner to the left side. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Standing in now, Jacob DeGrom. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Runs up and gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Ready now is James McCann. He's 0 for 1 thus far. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score on the sack fly as this lead is trimmed to 4 3 now. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. It was a walk in his last trip. Owen won the count. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. Top of the lineup, stepping in, Mookie Betts. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Alonso has it, and it's a quick out number one. Here's Corey Seeger. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. And he fouls this one off. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. He stays alive, still two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Base is empty, two away. And that'll bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0 and 2 now. After that off balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0 2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Well. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike and that's the third. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Corey Knabel takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Snap throw from the catcher. And it's fouled away. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Nope. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. High in the air down the right field line. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. Into the box. Keith Alonzo. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. 
That's the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And it's one and two. One and two. Davis, base runner at first with one out. Fouled off. And another foul ball. Here's another one, two. Two and two. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And digging in is the big time power threat, Max Muncie. First offering on its way. Oh, and a hearty oh, cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? Nope. That's what it That's looks exactly. like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Swing and a miss. Good sinking one action there. One and two. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back see the ball a little bit deeper and be willing to work deep into the count. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. Out in front of it, strike one. Four runs, eight hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. There's the big breaking ball and it's by him for a strike. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. And he misses there, one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Now another one, two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that will end up a foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. Off speed pitch, Ball just two. missed inside. Great job to lay off that pitch after fouling off so many previous to it. I got to believe that pitchers certainly get frustrated in these types of at-bats. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Third baseman. Now here's the first offering. Justin Turner is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And this one was tailing on him, but he was able to reach down, pull it in, and with it, the side is retired. Riding in is Michael Conforto. No hits to this point. Here's the first pitch. One, here's the pitch. Fouled away. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another one sent foul. The 0 2 home. One ball. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So next to bat will be Javier Baez. He's head-to-head -head numbers against Corey Knievel. He's just two for 12. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. Uh, he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. And he looks at a ball, one and two. And he fouls this one off. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. The 
looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. So here's Jeff McNeil as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Baez leads off second with one gun in the inning, and it's fouled away. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there, one and two. To short. Throw gets him, two down. Skiorme will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 13. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now a swinging bunt. He's working on bringing home the tying run standing at second base. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. In there. One and two now. Man, this pitcher is on right now. Pounding the zone, attacking oh, these hitters. He's making it look easy. The count now at two and two. Soft grounder left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Muncie, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Trevor May will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Digging in will be A.J. Pollock. One for two in the ball game thus far. No balls in one strike. In the air, down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Chris Taylor will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Right to him. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. He's been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Now to bat. First pitch. Hey. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike oh, one. Down. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Sent out to straightaway center field. Bellinger's on his horse. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Next, it'll be Brandon Nimmo grounded out in his last at bat. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Hey, there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it, 
and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And that misses two and one. Four and three our score here as we play the eighth. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. When you're playing close games like this, base That's runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. From the stretch, J.D. Davis stands in as he can't connect here, 0-1. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. Back in standing. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Now into the box, Francisco Lindor. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. One ball, no strikes to count. Quick check on that time run at first, but the runner's back easily. Here comes the 1-0. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Nimmo is off of first with two away. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Bellinger has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Edwin Diaz is called upon, and it's not for his usual role. Just hoping to keep the deficit at one here. Mookie Betts stands in as he looks at ball one here. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hit back toward the mound. Baez fields it cleanly. On to first, the double play. And now in the box, Trey Turner head to head against Edwin Diaz. He's 0 for 4. He swings and grounds it to short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning. the first baseman Pete Alonzo infield in the overshift here now the pitch here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one swing and a ball line hard towards short throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway Next up from New York, Michael Conforto. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And that misses for ball one. That evens it up one and one. Now here it comes. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. They'll try again, one, two. And he lays off it to even the count, two and two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Fouled off. Again, he sends it out of play. Kenley Jansen answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Two, two pitches found away. Now here's the pitch. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Digging in next, Javier Baez. Career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen. He's hitless in six tries. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing, and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out.
Stepping in now, Jeff McNeil, as he puts it on the ground to third. Reined in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Max Muncy. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. As he swings and misses at a first-pitch fastball, 0-1. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Hater caught too much of the zone. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch coming, here it is. And he fouls this one off. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Swing and a miss. Good sinking Down. action One there. One and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. Right, you can tell two he was two. out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty. One man out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Nimmo. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And now here is Justin Turner. Flew out last time up. First pitch of the A.B. now. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. And this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game. It is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Nimmo will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Extra innings, and next will be the pitcher, Edwin Diaz. Edwin Jonathan VR up off the bench to pinch hit here so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frame and on the first pitch he grounds foul it's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go ahead run a chance to score from second hard hit ball to second but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out big spot here and it'll be James McCann and a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied the 1 0. That's a ball. Two balls and a strike. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So here's Brandon Nimmo, runner in scoring position with Sugan. And he can't hold on to the throw as it short hops him and eats him up. And he knew he was in trouble there as they just tag him out between. Dylan Batensis comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. So now to the plate, A.J. Pollock. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Here's the first pitch. There's a good breaking ball. As he One and one. 
in the dirt here. And they've got the runner trapped in a hot box between second and third now. And they'll get the out here as he's run down between second and third. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Looking up is Nimmo. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! A one run finish today, five to four, the final score. Kenley Jansen gets the W on the mound. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to the show. Hoy la cosa se puso buena.